All right, so here we are in part three on my video tutorial on creating a title with a green background. Uh, eventually we'll have some text and we'll have some particles uh, that are sort of running down along this plane. So what we want to do is, I guess it's probably a good idea to make sure your 3D cursor here by hitting N, November, I'm opening up my properties here. Uh, the 3D cursor you can see is at location, zero, zero, zero. So I'm going to add some text now at that location. I'm going to choose Add and then Text, okay? And you can see it's it looks upside down right now. And I'm going to hit period to zoom in on that. And I'm going to make it look right side up just by moving around it. I'm going to go into Edit Mode. Now I can do that a couple different ways. You can choose Object Mode down here and go into Edit Mode, or the shortcut is Tab. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type my name. Just like that. Okay. Um, the way this is, we could either, at this point, the way this worked out is I could either turn my name around or I could rotate the plane. I think it's going to be easier to go into object mode, select the plane, and uh, hit R and then X to rotate it around the X axis and just change the tilt angle because you want the top of your name to be on the uphill slope because eventually we're going to set some particles so they roll down this plane and sort of bounce into your name. Okay? So my name now is underneath down there, okay? And you can see that after tilting it, it sort of appeared there. I can grab the blue arrow and pull it up. Now we're going to take this text and we're going to convert it to a mesh. And here's your shortcut for that. You hit Alt-C, okay? And we're going to create the second option, Mesh from Curve Meta Surf text. All right, and this will convert uh, your text to a mesh. All right, and now that it's a mesh, we can do things with it that we can do with other meshes, okay? So I'm going to go back into edit mode, all right? And I'm going to hit E, and that stands for extrude. And I'm going to extrude the text upward like this, boom. All right, so now we've got your text in three dimensions after converting it to a mesh and then extruding it upwards, all right? Now, you're going to take your text, all right, and you want to extrude it upward a fair amount. And you want to make sure that it, take a look, intersects the plane so that half the text is on the bottom or underneath, and the other half is on top because eventually we're going to have particles, like I said, rolling down this green area and colliding with the name right there. All right, so you want to set it up so it looks about like that. All right, and let's take a look through the camera. My name is still upside down there, so I'm going to take the camera at this point, and I'm just going to rotate it. So I'm going to right-click on the camera, and I'm going to click R once. I'm going to spin it around just like that, so now everything is uh, oriented in the same direction. I'm going to right-click my name. I'm going to grab the red arrow, and I'm just going to try to center it a little bit, okay? We're going to make sure that everything is set up there. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude video three with just creating your text and getting everything aligned so that it's all right side up.